let's talk about what do you do with a negative exponent. Okay, a negative exponent, it just means it's on the wrong floor. So think of all the integers as fraction, an upstairs and a downstairs. Right now, this 5 is on the upstairs, but it's got raised to the negative first power, which means it's on the wrong floor, so I need to switch it to the basement. So I'm going to have a 5 to the first on the bottom, and you don't have to write that one exponent, but since it's on the bottom, what's on the top? Well, you always have a 1 on top, so if you don't have anything, it's actually a 1, so you can make it into a fraction. Okay, so let's look at the second example. We have 5 to the negative third over 5 squared to the positive 2. Okay, which one's on the wrong level? Well, 5 to the negative third, it's upstairs, and it needs to go downstairs. So we're going to move it to the bottom, downstairs, but the 5 squared is going to stay downstairs because it's a positive exponent. So I'm going to move that 5 cubed to the bottom. Now it's a positive exponent. And again, we just have a 1 on top because there has to be something on top. And then when you multiply like bases, you add exponents. So that's 5 to the 5th on the bottom with a 1 on the top. So that's how you would simplify that one. Okay, so now let's look at one that has both sets of negatives. 4 to the negative 5th over 4 to the negative 3rd. Okay, we can actually do this one a couple different ways. When you are... Um, dividing like this. You can subtract the exponents or you can move and then just simplify. I prefer to move and simplify, but you could take 4 to the negative fifth minus a negative third. So you could handle it like this, 4 to the negative fifth minus negative 3. You just have to be careful with your signs. That's a double negative, so that would be negative 5 plus 3, so that would be 4 to the negative 2. And we know it's on the wrong floor, so it could, would be 1 over 4 squared or 1 16th if we simplified it all the way down. Okay, I'm going to show you a second way to handle it. Okay, I'm just going to change floors. So this 4 to the negative 5th, it's going to go downstairs and become a positive one, uh, 4 to the 5th. I'm going to take 4 to the third, negative third, and move it upstairs, and it's now positive. Now I can see I have 4 times 4 times 4 over 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And if you cancel all your like terms, you end up with 1 over 4 squared. Okay? Or at this point, you can again subtract 4, uh, 3 minus 5 is a negative 2. So the negative 2 would be on the bottom. So a couple different ways to handle it, and it's up to you how you want to handle those. So that is the end of part 2. So now let's look at simplifying with variables for that third part. Okay, let's look at 3x squared and 15x to the negative third, all raised to the negative first power. So now we're throwing in some variables. Okay, what does this negative exponent tell us. That tells us that we're on the wrong floor, but we have a fraction. So what you're going to do is actually flip the whole fraction and change it to a positive, uh, change the exponent to a positive exponent. So everything on the bottom goes to the top and everything on the top goes to the bottom because this a parenthesis is here telling me everything's in the wrong location. So I'm going to flip it. Okay. And now from here, I'm just going to simplify. Okay, I first need to take this x to the, the negative third and move it. Since it's a negative exponent, it's going to go down to the bottom and become a positive exponent. So my x's are actually going to simplify to x, whoops, x to the fifth, okay, because I'm going to add those together. And now on top, I have a 15 and I have a 3, so I need to now look at my integers. Okay, 15 and 3, I'm just going to reduce that to a 5. So I'm going to end up with 5 over x to the fifth as my final answer.